and welcome guys for the Xfinity race for the Lowe's 100 at new start the race now as the drivers lining up as they're now loading in so here we are for the New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Lowe's 100 at New Hampshire before we go racing let's talk about track facts nicknamed the Magic Mile New Hampshire Motor Speedway is a one mile flat oval located in Lowe's Loud in New Hampshire, open in 1990 and hosts all three series for for this season. And it's only going to host the Xfinity race. Total laps: 100 laps. Stage one: 22. Stage two: 19 laps. Final stage: 59 laps. Pit window: 23 to 26 laps. We have two drivers at their home track, B Pool and Eternal, as they're coming to the restart zone. Green flag, we're underway at the Magic Mile. As your pole sitter, Landron, takes them into turns one and two. You can see right here, it is a flat oval as Landron leads the field. They are three wide. Here comes Eternal. He is hungry. He wants to win at his home track. So Eternal side by side with GU at his home racetrack. He dives it in. Landron, still your race leader. They're side by side, three wide for second. No. As they come down the front straightaway, Landrod will lead that lap as he pulls away. Eternal moves up to second as he slides right in front of GU. This is will probably be Eternal's only chance to win a race, especially at his home track. Can he pull it off? He is trying to gain. As GU on the outside. Landrod has pulled away, entering three and four. As now Landrod coming out of four, coming to lap three out of 22 in stage number one. Remember, the pit window is lap 23, 23, 26, so they do not have to make a pit stop till the end of the stages for both stage one and two. Let's look at the ones to look out for. Landrod, your pull sitter as he pulls away from the rest of the field. GU, he has won the last four races in this league, and he qualified on the front row as I believe he is third right now. Oh, Landrod smacks the outside wall on exit. Beepool, he is really fast. He qualified fifth, but he still has the speed, and he is at his home track as well. Eternal at his home track as well qualified fourth. He is right now in second and around out the ones to look out for liners as he qualified in third today as Landrod in the zero three still in first here comes eternal he is looking Let's look at the fight back there Oh Contact being made I don't even know who that is. As Confetti dives it down on the apron, makes contact with GU. As I believe that is B-Pool in second. Yes, it is. B-Pool in the 72. Now trying to chase down. So the two drivers at their home track running 2-3 right now. As a turn all over the back bumper of B-Pool. Can he make a move to the inside? Now he's going to stay right there. They all dive it in to turns 1 and 2. Here we go. Eternal looking to the inside of Beeple. Can he make it stick? No, he's going to fall right behind. As your race leader, race, race leader still. Landrod. Oh, GU dives into the inside of Eternal. Will Eternal get the good run on the outside? No, GU comes up and he's going to be side by side with Beeple for a second. GU slowly making it up front. As now Eternal trying to give the bumper to GU. Confetti all over the back bumper of Eternal. Great racing in the back right now. But Landrod starting to pull away. Oh, Eternal slides up right in front of the 72. Here comes Beeple. He's going to dive it in hard. They're going to be three wide. As Confetti using the apron to his advantage. It is legal here. And now Eternal starting to fall back as now GU starting to catch. GU is now starting to gain on your race leader. Here we go. Here's GU. He is gaining on Landrod. Landrod, your pull sitter, is still pulling up the fast laps. But as they come out of four right here with this great angle. Oh, he moves him up. 
They're going to be side by side. Let's go on board with GU. As answer turn one and two, GU dives it in hard. And Landron's going to make the crossover move, but he's got to get off the gas. He's not going to get a good exit. And now your race leader, GU. And here comes Confetti using the outside line. Can he pull it off? Lanron dives it in hard. He's going to slide up the racetrack. Makes contact with GU. He's got to go down on the apron. As now Confetti takes second. And now here comes OKC for third on the inside. Landron now slowly starting to fall back. As GU is still your race leader. Here comes Confetti making a move. There was a little bit of contact coming out of two between the double zero and the 16. But so far, your race leader is still GU. But let's go on board with Confetti here. He's going to dive it hard on the outside. Can he make a crossover move? Dives it on the apron. It is legal. Oh, he's going to pull up right behind him. Will he give him the bumper? Will he make a move? Here we go. As GU dives in really hard. Entry 3 4 to the inside. They make a little bit of contact. That's going to shove GU up the racetrack. They're still side by side coming to the line. GU is going to lead that lap. And GU gets the better exit. Who's going to have the better entry? Confetti dives it in hard. Here comes OKC. He, he's playing a major role. That's now your race leader, Confetti, as they enter three and four. Here comes GU. He's going to look to the inside. A lot of lead changes. Oh, contact. He shoves Confetti up the racetrack. Oh, my God. But he, Confetti's still your race leader as GU now stuck on the high side. As you can see, the teammates running similar paint schemes of OKC and GU. As OKC right now in second, GU in third. They are both teammates. Confetti's still your race leader, but now teammates starting to battle with one another for seconds. But now GU starts to fall back now. We are now lap 14 out of 22. Laps are starting to fall down now. The two hometown kids right now are right now in the back of this little pack going on there single file nobody looks like to make a move they're all spread out a little bit so confetti still your race leader here at new hampshire motor speedway oh here comes okc he's got a good run out of the corner can he make a move he's gonna be all over the back bumper is he gonna dive it in give him the bumper here he goes he makes the chance look into the inside he dives it in hard again. Will they make contact? No, they will not. As Confetti's still leading as GU makes the pass on Landrod for third. They are still battling for that third spot, though. That's right now. Confetti first. Oh, okay. So he smacks the wall hard on exit. Will that slow him down? No, it won't. So right now, GU third. Beepful now makes a pass on Landrod for fourth and Landrod fifth. So that is your top five as now Eternal starting to fall back. Those tires are now starting to become a factor as they enter three and four. Here comes OKC trying to make a move. He shoves Confetti up the racetrack. They are making a lot of contact coming out of the corner side by side. Who's going to lead the lap? OKC leads that lap. Okay, see an underdog for this race. He is making moves early too. Your race leader right now, OKC. But here comes Confetti trying to use the high side. Not gonna work. And here comes GU. He's trying to he's trying to win stage one. It's been his these past four races have been the GU show. But will somebody take it away? Oh, here comes Confetti trying to make the outside work here. They dive it in hard, both of them. And here comes GU and B-Pool. As now OKC dives it on the apron. It slides up right in front of Confetti. Confetti tries to make the crossover, but OKC blocks. Entering three and four now. Confetti. 
Okay, see, so you're race leader as we're now entering, I believe, lap 20 out of 22 as they come crossing the line. Entering one and two. Oh, GU into the outside wall hard with four laps to go. Can OKC win the stage or will Confetti pull it off? Or here comes b your home hometown kid right now as he dives it in really hard. And he's going to make the pass. What a move by b -Pool. Now he is all over the back bumper of OKC. Still your race leader, OKC, as b -Pool makes the crossover move. Three wide through the middle. Confetti tries to make it work, but he won't. They are still side by side. Tires are going to play a factor, so don't be, don't be surprised if someone blows the tire with, I believe, now two to go in the stage. Yes, two laps to go in stage number one. They are in the clear. If a caution comes out... The, ray, the stage one will be over as now b starts to pull away as Confetti tries to make the outside work. Here comes OKC tries diving it in. It won't work. He's got one more chance. Here we go. One lap to go in stage number one. Can b win stage number one here at the Magic Mile? As they enter one and two, OKC is looking to give him the bumper. Trying to make a bump and run. He goes to the inside on the apron. They are making contact side by side down the back straight away. Who's going to win stage one? One final shot. They make contact. OKC slides right in front. More contact. The bumper. It's not going to work. OKC is going to win stage number one. With Confetti second, people third, Landron fourth, and GU fifth. What a stage as now we go and talk with OKC. OKC, you there? OKC? OKC, you there? How does it feel winning stage one after making a nice slide job in front of B pool? It feels pretty good. Um, it just took out of skill. So, yeah. Yeah. Either way, great move. You win stage number one here at the Magic Mile and keep it up. Uh, As your stage one winner, OKC wins the stage. Let's see who will win the race off pit road now. That's going to be the main factor. Will it be OKC? Will it be Confetti? Or will it be B-Pool who finished third in stage number one? Here we go. And Confetti's going to win the race off pit road. Here we go. Coming to the restart zone. Green flag. Stage two is underway. OKC and Confetti making contact early. And here comes Beeple into the factor. Two by two. As Confetti, they're still side by side to three and four. Confetti dives it in. Sorry, not Confetti. OKC dives it in extremely hard, trying to keep the lead. But now here comes Confetti to the inside. Coming to the line. It's going to be OKC leading that lot barely. As they make contact coming down the front straight away. OKC slides right in front of Confetti. Dives it in hard. Contact between b and Lanron. And b is going to clear it for third. It's been a great race so far between all these guys. Ebony now. He moves up to fifth. He was in the back most of the entire race. But now he is up for he is now charging. As they are still side by side. OKC and Confetti still side by side. But oh, he slides up too much up the racetrack. So now your race leader, Confetti, with his teammate B pool right behind.
as B pool right now, right behind his teammate of Confetti. Confetti still leading. Here comes Landrod. Contact between B pool and Landrod. He slides him up the racetrack. Three wide. Oh my God! They were three wide for a second. Now B pool gets back into second place. Oh, there's contact being made behind. Oh, Ibani slides up right in front of one of the teammates. I believe that is OKC. Yes, he slides up right in front of OKC. Now, Landrod going after people. These two have been having a little bit of beef recently. So let's see what's going to happen between these two. Let's watch them closely as they're three wide in the back right now. Surprisingly, this has not been the GU show as GU is, has been mid-packed the entire race so far. He is right now P4. Oh, and he gets shoved up the track by Ivani in the back. So B pool falls back all the way to seven. He is not having a good day today. Oh, someone into the outside wall. I believe that is Eternal. As B pool, B pool trying to hold on to second as Landrod comes to dive it into the inside. But B pool trying to make the middle line work. Oh, contact between the two as they come down the front straight away. Oh, my God. These guys are beating and banging. After this race, those bumper covers are going to be off between those two. Oh, contact between Ibani. And I believe that is OKC. What happened there? And the first caution will come out. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I believe oh, Ibani. Let's look back. Let's look at what happened here. So as they're entering the corner, OKC dives in and extremely hard. Oh yeah, I know. OKC just completely takes out Ibani. So as the first caution comes out of the day, an incident between OKC and Ibani. OKC dove it in hard trying to make it work, but he couldn't and made contact and put Ibani in the wall. That's going to probably be a penalty or something between. Let's listen into the race chatter going on right now between these guys after the caution. Fuck off. Are you ready? Oh, Ebony. I'm no, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm Ebony. 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 So they're not. They're they're really just barely talking there. There's a green flag back in the air after that caution. They're all nice and relaxed and calm, even though they were racing hard. Oh, they are three wide for the race lead right now. No, they're not. Eternal. Oh, he was trying to make it four wide. They're still three wide entering the corner. Oh, my God. Restarts are crazy here. Oh, they're four wide. Ebony into the wall. As now, B pull your race leader, and here comes Landrod. Eternal shoving confetti up the racetrack just a little bit. As they are three wide. No, they're not. Not anymore. Eternal moves up into P4 as Landrod trying to chase down B pool. As B pool still your race leader and Landrod still trying to go after him, but he doesn't look like he has the speed to do it. As GU continues to be far in the back, he is not having a good day today. His streak will might might come to an end here. As B pool now starting to pull away. As let's look at your top five. B pool in first, Landrod second, confetti third. I believe that is OKC in fourth and rounding out your top five is a turn. No, not eternal. Sorry, my bad. Who is it? P5. I believe it is liners. Yes, liners up to P5. Qualified third, but he's not showing it. Eternal, who qualified really good, was showing his speed up front. Now has fallen back really far in this race. As now here comes Landrod all over the back bumper. 
Let's go on board with Landrod. As he dives it in really hard. Can he make it stay? Bumper to the back. And he's not going to make it work. Beeple with a better exit out of the corner as they come crossing the line. Lap 16 out of 19. As they're with four laps to go in the stage now. Coming out of two. Yes, four to go in the stage. Ji-Hu all the way back in the ninth spot. That is crazy. Oh, Lanron trying to make it work on the inside. They are side by side. No, Lanron has to lift. Here we go. Three laps to go in stage number two. Can people win the stage? Here comes Lanrod, the bumper to the back of the 72 that shoves him up the racetrack. Here we go. More contact as they come down on the apron. Oh my goodness, they are side by side. Here we go. Who's going to take the race lead? Oh, the bumper in the back of the Z03. He shoves him all the way to the grass. Hard racing going on. Three wide for the race lead coming to the line. Two to go. Confetti your race leader. What a move by the double zero. The teammates right now battling for this stage as here comes Lanron. No, he has to check up big time. As here comes Beeple trying to go and catch his teammate. Here we go, coming out of four. One lap to go in stage number two. Can Beeple take it away from his teammates? Or will Confetti win stage number one? Here we go as they come out of two. Down on the apron, Confetti. He's trying to make it work. And it looks like he'll make it. Here comes Beeple. Can Beeple dive it in hard? One final shot for Beeple. Not going to be enough. Coming out of turn number four. It's going to be Confetti winning stage number two. Here at the Magic Mile. Great stage two. Let's go talk with your stage two winner, Confetti. Confetti, you there? Yeah, yeah. I'm here, I'm here. How's it feel winning stage two, making it three wide, taking it away from your teammate and Lanrod? Oh, uh, I, I just, just I knew, knew for, for a fact, fact those, those two were just going to battle, battle it out. I mean, I mean I, I, they, 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 they were really, really big, big so Kyle Kyle Bush. Bush. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're they're beating and banging, and they're they do not like each other. But you were able to make it work three wide. Great, good job winning stage number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love, Love the stage, stage though. though. Yeah. As you can hear, Confetti happy to win stage number two after making it three wide on his teammate while they were beating and banging with one another. As let's see who's going to win the race off pit road. Will there be strategy involved or will everybody come down pit road? And it looks like the order will stay the same after coming down pit road. Yeah. Here we go to the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Two by two as they come entering turn number one. Confetti's still your race leader right now. As a turnal, he's trying to make it up back to the front. He's trying to show he's still got a little speed. GU's been in the back all day. Not very well. And now here comes the liners. The third teammate between Confetti and Beepool. As the teammates right now battling for the race lead. Beeple gives them the bumper, or they're going to be side by side. G, you can see G all the way in the back. He's trying to fight his way up front, but doesn't it look like he can work. Oh, we got a car in the wall. It is OKC to the outside wall hard. We stay green. As you can see, still Beeple trying to go after his teammates still. Can he make it? It's been the Ford show all day. The Fords have dominated today. Let's see if he can still... Let's see if a Chevy can come up front. Like Lanrod. Coming out of the corner. People trying to make it... Make a pass on his teammate. He still can't do it. Confetti's got a lot of speed. Could people give his teammate the bumper and shoot him up the racetrack? Not yet. 
Here we go, coming out of three and four. B pool to the inside. They're side by side. B pool slides up right behind Confetti, and Confetti still leads that lap. As we have now hit, I believe, 50 laps to go in the stage. Yes, it is a long stage three. It is a hundred laps. Ooh, very tight exit for confetti almost into the outside wall right there as these two teammates still continue going one two and they have pulled away from the rest of the field as now as you can see in the back they are battling and GU GU he's trying to fight back up front as he right now P4 yes yeah, GU right now in P4 no he's gonna fall back to P5 GU still running mid pack this entire race. People trying to make the outside work as he's all the way up. Almost into the wall there, so he's gonna lose a lot of speed and not so well of an exit for Beat Pool. As Confetti stole your race leader. As we've passed now the halfway mark in this race. Oh, there were a lot of contact in the back. Don't know who it was. I believe, yes, it was Landrod, GU, and Liners. They all were making contact in the back, being aggressive. But right now, it's just the confetti and people show. BPM Motorsports. <sighs> This team has been the most successful team so far. They have been very consistent all season long. As GU now in third. He has finally fought his way back into the top three. But he's got to make up a lot of time if he wants to catch up between these two. And pit strategy is also going to be a problem. These two still battling for the race lead. But it's just been a... Tr it's just been single file train race so far. These teammates have not been fighting against one another. Oh no, I think OKC has lagged out. Let's check it out. Has OKC lagged out of the race? Yes, he is. OKC, your stage one winner has now lagged out of the race. This happened similar to Awesome at Michigan in the Cup Series last week. Let's look in the back to see if there's any battling going on. So far, no. It's all been single file. Everybody just single file racing. Try, they've, they're trying to fight, but they're all leaving space. As Beepool was able to take the race lead away from his teammate Confetti. And Confetti had a little problem in 3 and 4. So now as Beeple starts to pull away, can Beeple win at his home racetrack? So far, nobody has swept any of the stages. It's all been different, different stage winners. Okay, Steve won stage 1. Confetti was able to win stage 2. Can the final stage and the race be won by a Beeple? Will Confetti win? As we have now a car down pit road, I believe is Ebony. Yes, he is down pit road making his pit stop early. No, Ebony. He is lagged out of the race too. So now we've got two cars out of the race. That is not good for both of those cars. Oh, Landroll got very loose coming out of the corner. I don't know what happened there, but it's all very spread out now as here comes Confetti. He's going to be all over the back member of his teammate in just about a lap or so. It's been a long race so far. Be pool still your still your race leader so far.
Here we go. Coming to the line. 40 laps to go in the race. We still have a long way to go. They're going to have to make two stops in the stage because the fuel window is 23 to 26 laps. So I believe they've got to make... I believe they've got to make... Um, two pit stops in the stage. We will see the next... We will see... The pit cycle start to happen around lap 75-ish. Around there, we'll see the pit cycle happen. So it's been all the it's been all the BPM Motorsports show as we've had Beepool and Confetti out in front in most of the race. Their other teammate Liners has not been out front whatsoever. He was third place for a little bit, and that was at the beginning of stage number three. But right now he is far back, I believe, in fifth. So Liners not having a good day. GU not having a good day either, but he's running P3. So a late race caution could change anything. As now, let's crank it up. Dave making an early pit stop. He is trying to win this race off strategy once again. As we have a Republican in the back. Okay, see out of the race. Oh, what happened? We got another car out of the race. Who is it? Confetti lags out of the race. Oh, no. A big contender for this race win is now out of the race. So now we have three cars that have DNF'd and Dave right now making his pit stop. Oh, that is unfortunate for those guys. So now is B pool your race leader right now. Oh, but he's got to deal with Dave. Lap traffic in the way now. As right now, GU in second. But sorry, pit cycles are going to start to happen probably now with tires starting to wear up. I forgot. So fuel is around, pit window for fuel is around 23 to 26 laps, but for those tires, they burn up quicker. So we'll see pit cycle start to happen around lap 70-ish, so maybe two laps earlier, maybe three laps after. Around in that general area, lap 70 is when we'll see cars start to hit pit road. And see if any cars are down pit road right now. No, no one down. Oh, Republican's going to make his pit stop now. So now Republican down pit road as the pit cycle was now. And now Beeple's going to come down pit road as well. Your race leader down pit road. GU down pit road. Landrod down pit road. Eternal down pit road. Liners down pit road. Everybody coming down pit road. It is a pit. So everybody now down pit road. Liners down pit road, GU down pit road, B pool down pit road, Eternal down pit road. Who's gonna win the race off pit road? Here we go. Oh, as their major major contact entering pit road. Who's gonna win the race off pit road? And it's gonna be B pool. B pool wins the race off pit road. Who's gonna come out second? And it's going to be GU. GU comes out second. So your race leader still B pool right now. As it's now lap 69 out of 100.
people coming down the back straightaway. He is dominating a huge gap between GU. So Beeple is most likely gonna win this race unless a late race caution comes out. Crossing the line. Now lap 70 out of 100. Beeple now ho Beeple is hoping for not a caution to come out right now. He does not need it. He does not need it whatsoever. As Beeple enters turns 3 and 4 and he enters them pretty high. But he's trying to do the diamond effect. Coming out of four, we have now hit lap 71 out of 130 laps to go in the race. As people coming out of two, he's still your race leader right now. Problems with Dave. What happened with Dave? He's down on, he's going to go another lap down. Beeple, so your race leader, remember. 30 laps to go, now 29 to go. They are going to have to make one more pit stop. And that's going to be the money stop on who's going to win the race. Will they take two tires? Will they take two tires? Will they take four? Will they take two cans, one can, or half a can of fuel? As the laps are starting to dwindle down now, as we are now coming to 28 laps to go. 28 to go now, as G as B Pool crosses the line. B Pool enters, the, enters turn one really fast. Oh, we got a car around, but he gets out of the way fast. Whale goes around, he's gonna go a lap down. So now we got two cars lapped down. GU in second, you can see that huge gap. As Beeple entering, as Beeple enters turn one, GU is just crossing the line, so you can tell how big of a gap it is between these two. Beeple has dominated most of stage number three. People just does not want to caution to come out. He wants to make his pit stop safely and just make it all the way. Coming down the back right away, people still dominating this stage. GU all the way back there on the back straight away. You can see how far he is. And coming out of four now. And B pool, 25 laps to go. They are now. If they pit now, they'll be able to make it all the way on fuel. If they may, if they take two cans of tire, two cans of fuel. Let's look on to the back here. As we have Whale in the grass in three and four, he's gonna come back up on the racetrack. Can he do it safely? As here comes Republican. Dave in turn one and two, a lap down. Republican entering turns one and two now. Landrod, I believe, in P3 entering three and four. GU coming out of four and second. Liners in fourth place right now. Eternal in P5. And B Pool, your race leader with 24 to go. And we've got three cars who have DNF all lagged out of the race. OKC was the first to lag out of the race for stage one winner. Then it was Ebony who lagged out of the race. He came down pit road and then he and then he lagged out of the race. And then the final person to DNF was your stage two winner and someone who's dominated all of basically all of stage two confetti. He lagged out of the lagged out of the race in stage three while battling his teammates. So he's out of the race too. As people still your race leader, remember they can make it all the way on fuel now, but they've got to do but they gotta watch those tires. So expect people to come down pit road around lap 85. Yes, yeah, so around lap 85, expect people to come down pit road and try doing some strategy. Maybe even go even further in lap 90. Just take 
one can of fuel in right sides. People still staying on the racetrack. So far, nobody down pit road, it looks like. Crossing the line. Lap 80 out of 100 now. And now coming out of turn number four, Beepool coming to the line, 20 laps to go from the Magic Mile. Beepool still out in front. Beepool wants to win this race, it is a home track after all. Eternal, the other hometown kid. Right now running P5, running mid-pack. He, he had a good stage one, but right now not so great. So now we'll start to expect drivers to hit their pitch stalls very, very soon. And that will be the money stop. Android George 1 and 2, people still your race leader out in front by a, by a, basically a turn. Let's look on GU as he comes out of 2. Let's, let's go on board with him to see the gap. Yeah, you can see in the, he's in the middle of the back straightaway, and B Pool is basically in the middle of turns three and four. So you can see that humongous gap between those two. So a big gap between B Pool and GU. The only way that's going to break it is a pit strategy, or if a late race caution comes out. We are on lap 83 out of 100 as B Pool comes down the back straightaway. When will Beep Fool come down pit road and when will GU come down pit road? That is the main question as we are almost coming down to the end of the stage or end of the race. And we got a car down pit road. Who is it? We've got who is it down pit road right now? It is Whale down pit road. So Whale making an early pit stop to see if he can get his if he can get back into contention as Liners Liners puts Eternal on the wall. They both make contact. Oh, what was that? Liners putting the 69 into the outside wall on exit. As people coming out of the corner, we are now on lap 85 out of 100. Expect people to come down pit road now. As Whale comes down pit comes out of pit road, multiple laps down. <laughs> Whale's gonna come back on the racetrack. Clear. GU now has to deal with him for lap traffic. The laps are starting to slowly come down, and who's going to win the race? Beast Pool will not come down for Pit Road. 15 laps to go in New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Doesn't look like anybody's going to take it away from B Pool. Now, expect people to come down Pit Road as now tires are starting to slowly wear. Expect maybe blown tires. You never know. And now B Pool is going to come down your race leader. He's going to make his pit stop. GU is going to come down and follow, I believe. No, GU stays out. As GU now your race leader. He, I believe, led that lap right now. So let's see when will GU come down pit road. Will GU do some strategy? When will he come down pit road? He's gonna stay out another lap. He's gotta go. He's gotta take care of those tires. He does not want to blow a tire. GU trying to work on some race strategy. He wants to win this race. As people now coming down, coming off pit road. GU's got to watch it. That tire might, that right rear could blow at any moment. He's got to watch out. He's got to watch those tires. Here we go. And now GU coming down. He's going to make his pit stop. Multiple cars down pit road right now as well. 
So right now your race leader If I am correct, your race leader is Landrod. Because he has not made his pit, he has not made his pit stop yet. When will Landrod come down pit road? That zero three. Either came off pit road already with one of those guys, or he's still gonna make his pit stop. Who is your race leader? No, my bad. Now B Pool is your race leader. Landrod already made his pit stop. B Pool, your race leader with 11 laps to go. B-Pool is going to win this race, it looks like, unless a caution comes out, but I highly doubt that. Unless somebody makes a stupid move entering the corner. Down the back straight away. B-Pool with a humongous gap between GU and him. Coming out of turn number four. Ten laps to go from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Can B pool take it? It has been a very long race today. With a hundred laps. So let's see. As Dave makes a pit stop, I don't think Dave's gonna win the race because B pool can make it all the way. With nine laps to go, will a late race caution come out? Remember, the Xfinity Series did not race at this racetrack last season. It was all Cup, it was all Cup Series and Truck Series last season. No Xfinity Series here. So we cannot, we cannot predict on who won last season's race to see if they can win today. The only ones we could predict is your pole sitter, Landrod GU, won the last four races. Qualified on the front row, B pool very fast, and it's his home track, and he's showing it right now. Turnal was one of our picks because it was his home track, and he qualified fourth. He even moved up to second in stage one, but he's far back in the pack right now. And Liner is qualified third, but he is not showing his speed today. As the laps are slowly coming down, let's see your field to see if there's anything. Oh, Whale went around for another time as B Pool has to now fight against Dave. Dave and B Pool side by side. Oh, Dave in the outside wall. He's just going to let the leader by. So far, nobody near each other. Eternal might finish this race. Probably fourth, I think. He's having a good day as well. So we have six laps to go. Laps slowly coming down. Can B pull win this race? I don't think a caution will come out. These cars are way too spread out for that to happen. B pull enters the corner pretty high. He's trying to do the diamond effect. Where you cut the track as much as you can. You enter high and you exit low. Five laps to go from New Hampshire. Can Beeple in the 72 Ford for BPM win it? And get the lobster. And victory lane. Straight domination of stage number three for that 72. Beeple has been very consistent this entire week. But bad luck has hit him so many times. Including... La including last week where people coming out of turn number four at Phoenix Raceway in the truck series last night blew a tire coming out of four and lost this and he went flipping too he lost the stage then he was never able to recover from that but people showing he's consistent Trying to fight from all the bad luck that has hit him the past weeks. He wants to win this race. Three laps to go now.
Remember, a caution can come out until that white flag is in the air. People need to hit his marks. He did, cannot. He cannot afford to go around and blow a tire. Coming out of turn number four. Two laps to go from New Hampshire. Remember, a caution still come out. This is not like the stages where a caution can come out in stage two and the stage will come to an end. No. As Beeble comes down and we got somewhere in the, somebody in the grass. You can see grass being flung in three and four. Hopefully, no caution comes out for Beepool. Coming out of turn number four. Beeple is now all in the clear. White flag one more time around from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. As Republican comes off pit road. And a late race caution comes out. Oh my goodness. A caution comes out right as Beeple was crossing the line. Unbelievable. This changes everything. And once again, bad luck has hit the 72 of Be Cool. Unbelievable. Let's look at the strategy. Remember, Republican and Dave have come down Pit Road already. Problem is, Republican is a lap down, but he's still going to come down Pit Road. Who will win this race? Will it be Be Cool? GU in second. Eternal. Can he win in his home track? He is right now P3. Eternal 1 has had already already had a win in this league but it was after a con it was after a weird finish at the Daytona race green flag back in the air here in NASCAR overtime Eternal is very aggressive will he be aggressive for this race win here we go the bumper to the back of the 69 that's gonna shove Eternal off the racetrack people still your race leader as they come out of two down the back straight away contact being made as a three wide GU starts to fall back here comes Eternal can he win the race the bumper to the back of the 72 no can he do it here we go Let's go on board. White flag one more time around from the Magic Mile. Eternal's going to try to give all he can. Here we go. Let's go on board with the 69. The bumper to the back of the 72. Eternal looks to the inside. Side by side as they come out of two down the back straight away. Who's going to win the race? Can Eternal get a second win? A snap on. He's going to dive in and slides right in front of people. People makes a move to the inside. Here we go. Coming out of four. Who's going to win the race? Contact being made. Beeple is going to win here at New Hampshire. And they go around. What a finish. Oh, my God. Eternal almost had his second win. Oh, what a race. Let's go now and talk with your race winner of Beepool. Awesome. Beepool, you there? Yeah. How's it feel winning the race, man? You were dominating all CH3. That late race caution came out. You're able to hold off the 69. How's it feel winning and going to victory lane? Beepool? All right. Well, that's going to be the end of the race with a great finish. And we will see you tomorrow at Darlington for the Cup Series race.